Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an array of delicious salads for your holiday table. With Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner, and even Easter, these would make great salads for. I've got two traditional salads, and then I have a dessert salad, which is like a vintage recipe. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to make a traditional seven layer salad. This is always on my holiday tables, whether for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or Easter. Let's go ahead and start with the seven ingredients. You want to start with a large bowl. Now, if it's a see-through bowl, that's so much better because you'll be able to see the layers of your salad. The first ingredient that you want to start with is the lettuce. Now, I'm using an iceberg lettuce because that's very traditional for this salad. So we're going to go ahead and chop this up. I'm going to take the core off. I'm just going to cut around it and pop that out. Now, you want to cut your lettuce into bite-sized pieces. So what I like to do is make thin strips all the way across half of the lettuce head and then go the other way. Now, if you just like to tear your lettuce, you can do that also. So I'm going to keep it in bite-sized pieces. Once we get this all cut up, we're going to place it into the bottom of our large bowl. Okay, that's layer one of a full head of iceberg lettuce. Our next layer is going to be hard-boiled eggs. Now, you want to just take your egg and then just take a knife, just use a paring knife, and then just slice these. Now, everybody has a way of cooking hard-boiled eggs. So, however you get to this stage here is fine. So you want to cook about six to eight eggs because you're looking for the pieces that are going to look like that here. And we're going to place these around the outside edge of the bowl so it makes a pretty design. Now if you have extra, you can just put it around the salad. The third ingredient that I like in my seven layer salad is a cucumber. I'm just going to give it a good peel, fastest peeler in my kitchen. <laughs> just going to take a knife, cut off the ends, I'm just going to cut it lengthwise and then cut them into slices. So they'll look like half moons. You're just going to have to gauge how much you want of everything in your salad. So. I might be looking at three quarters of that, so I'm going to sprinkle that all on top of the eggs. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper. I have some cherry tomatoes. What I'm going to do is take them and I'm just going to cut them in half. And this will be a decorative part to our salad. So you're going to want enough of these to go around the outside edge. And then we want some for the inside of the salad also. So what we're going to do is place the tomatoes between the eggs. And I'm just going to take the rest of the tomatoes and sprinkle them around in the salad. Okay, we're going to fill the whole top of this with some peas. And you want to make sure you get on top of the eggs where the tomatoes are on the outside. All right, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more in there. We don't want to overfill because we've got a dressing and we want the dressing to go through the salad. So I've got about a cup and a half of frozen peas in here that I've thawed out. We're going to top all of this with some shredded cheese. Now I'm just using cheddar cheese. Try to go on the outside too. And then I'm going to just take some of the cheese 
and then just go around the center. And again, you want to keep it light because we're going to put the dressing right here to seep into the salad. And if it's covered full of cheese in the center, then that dressing won't be able to go down into that salad. There we go. Just in a small bowl, we're going to place one cup of mayonnaise. We're going to add half a cup or four ounces of sour cream, two tablespoons of white granulated sugar, two tablespoons of half and half or just regular milk. We're going to whisk this together until it's well combined. Give it a taste and see if you need to add anything. Let's pour this over our salad. Keep in mind we want to pour the dressing right in the center and not over that outer layer of cheese. We want to be able to show that. Okay, we're just going to kind of even it out. Okay, I've got about five pieces of bacon that I baked in the oven. Okay, I'm going to place this on top of our salad, about one inch into the salad dressing. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of peas and then some cheese on top of that. Just a little bit, we want to see that bacon. Okay, here's our seven layer salad. Y'all let me know down below what you're gonna put in your seven layer salad. There's so many vegetable options that you can do to add to it. You can put some plastic wrap over the bowl, place it in your refrigerator for hours, or even put it in overnight. The longer you keep it in the refrigerator, the better, because that dressing will seep down into all the layers of your salad. It'll be very delicious. I'm going to show you how to make a walnut and cranberry salad with a honey Dijon dressing. Y'all ready for this one? Let's go put this one together. To start, you're going to need a large bowl to put all of your ingredients in. Now we're going to start putting in some lettuce or some greens. For this salad, we like the spinach and I can eat baby spinach, I like that. Spinach is a good one to use because it's dark green, it's a hearty leaf. You can use arugula if you want or a spring mix. If you want to put some kale in here, you can do that also. You're going to need about four to six cups. It just depends on how big you want your salad. I have some walnuts. I'm just going to pour those out on here. You're going to want about half a cup. Now these are like halves, so I'm just cutting up the big pieces into nice bite-sized pieces. And what you want to do is add that to your salad. Now I have some craisins, and what that means, it's dried cranberries. So it's almost like a raisin, and a raisin shape. And they'll look like this here. Nice and chewy, with a cranberry taste to it. We're gonna add half a cup. Such a hearty salad for the holidays. You really want those cranberries to just push through this dish. All right, got that. I'm going to be adding some bacon. Now this is pre-cooked bacon. I cooked it in a pan in the oven. And I'm going to chop this up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, let's go ahead and add that to our salad. I have a red onion. Cut off both ends. Cut off that outer layer. Since this is a pretty large onion, I'm just going to do half of it. And then what I want to do, so just slice it very thin and then just kind of gauge how much you want in your salad. Put that in. You're just going to pop them out and make little thin strips of onion there. So we're going to go ahead and place this into the salad. It's going to add a nice color and texture. If you have big pieces like that, you can take that out. We just want the really thin strips, like this here. 
Okay, let's talk about cheese. We're gonna be using a white crumbly cheese. Now you can use a feta cheese, which is a really good cheese for the salad, but I've got people that don't like feta cheese and they do like this fresco cheese, which, let me show you what it looks like really quick. There we go, right here. It's a ranchero, but it's a fresco cheese, queso fresco, adds a lot of flavor. And it's a crumbly cheese, which is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna take about one third of it out of the package. And then I'm just gonna crumble it like that. And we're just gonna crumble it into the salad. Nice big pieces of crumble. That looks good. Y'all, this cheese is so good. I love the holidays. <laughs> All right, y'all, we need to make the dressing. In a small measuring cup, we're gonna add three tablespoons of oil. Now, I'm just using avocado oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil. You can use olive oil. One tablespoon of some apple cider vinegar. Three tablespoons of honey. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. We're gonna blend this all together. As always, give it a taste. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's bring our salad back over and give it a dressing. What do you think of my cranberry walnut salad with honey Dijon dressing? Grab two forks, stir it up, and pass this one around. I'm gonna show you how to make a dessert salad for your table. This is a grape salad. It is vintage recipe. And it's very simple to put together. I mean, real simple, but it's really tasty. Nice, cool, refreshing. Just what you need after you have a plate of turkey. You ready? Let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna put it all in one bowl and get this one going for you. Just got a medium sized bowl. I'm going to add eight ounces of cream cheese. You wanna make sure this is very soft. You can leave it out for about one hour. To the bowl, we're gonna add a half a cup of white granulated sugar. I'm just gonna take my electric hand mixer. I'm gonna beat this until it's nice and creamy. We're gonna add in four ounces of sour cream. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna beat this together till it's well incorporated. Just gonna take a spatula, pull down the sides, give it another whirl. Okay, we're gonna take our cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna pour it into our grapes. Now I've already washed the grapes off and dried them off. We're gonna fold these in. Got some chopped pecans. I'm gonna add about half a cup. Give it a little bit more. We've got half a cup of brown sugar. All right, we're gonna stir this till everything is well combined. All 
All right, let me show you how we're going to present this. Serve it like that. Sprinkle some crushed pecans over the top. Vintage grape salad. Is this a dessert or is this a salad? What was your favorite? The seven layer salad? The cranberry walnut salad with that honey mustard drizzle? Or the grape salad? Y'all let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below on that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. Go check out my holiday and my Thanksgiving playlist. I will link them down below in the description box if you're on YouTube. Okay, I will see y'all on the next episode. Happy holidays.